What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be going over the most effective ways for you to gain strength. I've been getting a lot of questions asking me how do you get so strong or how do you get so strong in you know this amount of time. So I'm going to be covering that for you guys today. The quickest way for you to gain as much strength as possible is putting yourself in a caloric surplus, right? So what that means is you're going to be eating more calories than your body needs in order to maintain itself and its body functions, right? So let's say for example, I need 2000 calories to maintain my weight, then if I wanted to be in a surplus, I would eat anything more than that, preferably, you know, 2200 to 2500. Now that is only for you to gain strength in the quickest period of time possible, but what happens when you're in that surplus is you're undeniably going to gain some fat as well. Even though it's going to be slow, you're still going to gain a decent amount of fat. But if you don't care about being fat and getting fat, just stay in a surplus and get stupid strong, right? But if you're one of those people like me who don't want to get too overweight and too chubby, then I would recommend that you stay in maintenance because you can still get strong that way. If you guys watch Greg Doucette, he basically preaches how you can gain muscle and strength while not being in a surplus and you can just basically yeah maintenance and do that. I would do that if you're trying to you know still look aesthetic but also gain strength at the same time. But once again if you don't care about gaining you know fat tissue then just go for it, stay in a surplus, you know, eat whatever the hell you want. Now if you're one of those people who want to still look good but also gain strength, you know, I want to make sure that the calories that you're eating are good calories because I am a firm believer that eating good food makes you feel good and makes you perform better compared to if you were to eat you know junk food like fried chicken donuts ice cream right I would definitely try to eat a healthy well-balanced diet now does this mean that you can't eat what you enjoy but maybe reward yourself with those foods you know, and I think you should try to find alternatives too to what you like to eat. You shouldn't be suffering and you know, think of your diet as something that is hard to do, right? A, a diet should be sustainable because in the long run, that is ultimately gonna decide whether or not you can sustain that diet, okay? If you don't like doing something, chances are you're probably gonna quit very quickly and it's not gonna be a long-term thing, right? And you wanna gain a lot of strength and also if you wanna lose a lot of weight, want to make sure that it's a long-term goal because gaining strength definitely takes a lot of time. It's not like a quick fix, um, I mean, unless you're on steroids, but uh, <laughs> that's a whole other topic. So be patient, try to find foods that taste good and are alternatives to the foods that you enjoy, but are maybe a little bit healthier. So second of all, is definitely going to be your quality of sleep. And I think sleep is one of those things that is incredibly underrated. I think most people think that you just gotta go to the gym, lift heavy, eat a lot of calories, and you get strong, right? While this is true to a certain extent, I think that your quality of sleep really matters, right? Because if you're well rested, you not only are able to perform at your best, but you're also able to let your muscles and your joints recover from your previous training. You know, I would I would definitely recommend anyone who's trying to gain strength to sleep at least seven to eight hours if possible. Um, just get as much sleep as you can because I've had days where I did not get enough rest and I felt like shit the next day. Um, my workout sucked and I was just lethargic the whole day. Yeah, definitely don't underestimate your sleep. Now third, um, I definitely recommend you to work in the proper rep ranges. And what I mean by the proper rep ranges is if you want to gain strength, general rule of thumb is you want to be working with more weight and less reps and if you're looking to build more muscle then you should be working with less weight and more reps you know when I first started working out I would always start with a heavy compound movement followed by um, you know accessory volume workouts I would always start my workouts with a like five by five on uh, whatever muscle group I was working on whether that be bench squat or deadlift and that, I think that's how I gained my initial strength but the more you train the more specific your workout has to be to target your specific needs right which is why a cookie cutter program won't work for you know intermediate to advanced lifters but they will work for beginners because whatever a beginner does is going to work regardless because let's face it beginner gains are definitely a real thing I would recommend anyone who is starting off to maybe do a 5x5 with a heavy compound movement and then do accessory work what I also recommend 
for the intermediate guys to probably find a powerlifting or power building program because those are obviously more focused on strength building. And I think I saw probably the most significant strength gains when I hopped on programs like the Candido and David Lade's DUP program. That's when I saw the most increase in strength in my bench squat and deadlift. If you guys didn't know, I recently dabbled into Olympic weightlifting because I wanted to change up my workouts a little bit because it was getting very repetitive and boring. And so I think doing Olympic lifting definitely made my workouts a lot more fun. And I think they'll have a great carryover to powerlifting as well because as you guys know, Olympic weightlifting uses your entire body and it uses the muscles that you would need for powerlifting as well. I think the final tip I can give you guys is listening to your body. And what I mean by that is obviously tired take a rest day nothing wrong with taking a rest day I know you want to be hitting the weights getting a good workout but if you don't listen to your body that workout is probably gonna negatively impact your workout rather than improving your skills I can speak from experience whenever I did not listen to my body I would always end up with an injury you know whenever I told myself like you know what I think you can just push through this I would try to push through it mess up my back, you know, my shoulder, stuff like that, because I was just trying to push my already exhausted body, and you know, ultimately, you're gonna end up with an injury like I did. So you don't wanna do that, listen to your body, take a rest day if you need to, recover, and make sure you're 100% before you train again. You know, and when you do get injured, that is just gonna set you back even more from your goals, because when you get injured, you know, depending on the injury, you're probably out for like, couple weeks, couple months, maybe even a year, the injury is that serious. Don't let the ego get in the way. I know everyone wants to lift heavy, show off a little bit, but it's your own journey. Am I missing anything? I feel like I covered most of it. Um, obviously, the steroids. We don't do steroids, guys. Okay? Not so yeah, um, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Remember, guys, follow me on social media, on the gram, on TikTok for funny gym content. And um, I do want to start my. Comment below if you're willing to support the brand by grabbing a t-shirt or tank or whatever merchandise I decide to make. I'm still trying to decide a name for it right now and I think that's probably the hardest part because then I could just get going. Yeah, please comment below if you guys would be interested in supporting the brand. Like always, I love you guys and I'll catch you guys next time.